Hi, my loves. Okay, so the Holy Spirit is strategic. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I love you so much, Jesus. Like, guys, the Holy Spirit is just... Give God all the glory, okay? Let me tell you something, though. Everyone that I spoke to has been telling me something relating to their workplace. And there's a lot of warfare happening in the workplace. I've been through it. Sometimes I go through stuff before y'all go through it. So I know how to handle it. And I can kind of show you guys how to handle it, okay? <laughs> so I went through this already. It's over. The storm is over for me. But now I'm noticing everybody's going through it. Where people in your workplace, they're purposely trying to get you terminated. Or they're trying to get you to willingly leave. And I noticed the people that are having these issues, it's either they finally got a job after being jobless for so long, and this is a job that God blessed them with, right? Or this is some a job position that they've been at for a very long time, and God is not nudging them to leave. It's something that where they're very close to being promoted. They're very close to another breakthrough in this job. And I keep telling people, because I'm seeing it. When they're talking to me, and I'm, I'm seeing it. And even when I got off the phone, I was seeing some things. And I'm like, when, I, when you're in an environment, and this doesn't have to be work, guys. Because like I say, we can learn from the lessons from it too, you know? Um, When I get prophetic warnings or messages, we can learn from it too. Some people, it's like, when people know that God says we are the lamp, we are the light of this world, okay? Which means that no matter where you are, in a grocery store, in your home, it could be just walking on the street, it can be in traffic on the highway, it can be in the workplace, it can be in the family environment. A lot of the prophets in the Bible, they've been in different situations where they've been mistreated, they've been judged and ridiculed and God says, you are the lamp. You are the light of this world. So no matter where you are, you are going to be the lamp in that area. Okay, you are going to be shining a light in the darkness. People, you're going to be around a lot of people that have demons within them that they have not dealt with. They have not been delivered from. And when you are a light in a room that still looks bright, but these people have demons in them, you're going to trigger their demons and they're not going to understand why you trigger them or why you're triggering their demons. So they're just going to feel triggered. You get what I'm saying? And then before you know it, they're going to end up feeling some type of way about you without having no reasoning. You haven't done nothing to them. They're going to start bringing in other people to join them. Then it's going to be a gang against you. This is going to happen in the workplace. It's already happened in the workplace. It's already happened in your family where people just gang up against you and you've done nothing wrong. It's because a lot of people that you tr your anointing triggers them, your anointing provokes them, but they also know that there is a promotion that is coming your way, whether it's in the job or whether God is about to promote you with your gifts, you know, upgrading your gifts when you graduate in your gifts, or whether God is just going to promote you in general. Whew, it was getting hot in the car. I had to pause the video, open up my window. But when God promotes you, people can feel it and people can see it. I told you guys, there's a video I just did about nourishment. A lot of you guys, God is purifying you right now. God is purifying you right now. Which means that during the purification, there's going to be nourishment from the Holy Spirit. And when you're nourished from the Holy Spirit, you start to work differently. You start to look different. You start to feel different and people can see it. So whatever environment you're in, you're doing whatever you're supposed to be doing and you're doing the best that you can. And people can see the anointing in whatever you are doing. If let's just say it's 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 you're working at work and you're working you're working extra hard at work. Everyone at work is gonna notice you're working extra hard and you're so focused on your job and you're doing the best that you can do, it's gonna make everybody else that is competing with you feel intimidated. Okay, it's gonna make them want to figure out how to get rid of you because you're competition, because they feel like you're still in their spotlight. Do you get what I'm saying? Let me read you guys a scripture. That's what it is. Even if they, they don't see you doing something in that moment, some people can feel the nourishment and they can feel the promotion coming your way. They can see your potential. That's what a lot of people, you can see potential in them just like they can see potential in you. You ever been around someone and, you know, they may not be in the best position, but you look at them and you can see potential in them? Like, I can see potential in you. God is really going to bless you. I can see potential in you. There's other people who can see that same potential in you, but they may, they just won't tell you. They just won't tell you. Like your family saw potential in you, but they didn't tell you. They never uplifted you. Because they if they don't want to uplift you, they don't want to motivate you to keep going because they don't want you still in their spotlight. They don't want you to take all the credit. They don't want you to be the lamp. They don't want you to be the light. In the workplace, you may be working hard and people see potential in you. Your boss may see potential in you. Others see potential in you, but they won't tell you. 
because they don't want you to, to, to be motivated to keep going. The, when people do this, it's more to tear you down. They'll tear you down instead of uplifting you to keep going. Okay, and that means that there is a promotion coming your way and they want you to be discouraged. They want you to willingly walk away or to forcefully be terminated because of your lack of concentration, your lack of effort, your lack of effort. The more they can make you feel down, the more they can kind of tear you down, the more they can make you feel like you don't belong. You're not going to put in as much effort in whatever it is that you were doing right and the more that they do that and you don't put in no more effort guess what happens the effort gets lower and lower and lower to the point where you're no longer needed to the point where now you want to leave to where now you want to give up to where now you forcefully get terminated or you forcefully leave on your own so let me read something to you guys this is matthew 8 this is verse uh 32 okay i'm sorry this is verse 33 those tending the pigs ran off um ran off and went into the town and reported all this including what had happened to the demon possessed men then the whole town went out to meet jesus and when they saw him they pleaded with him to leave their region let me tell you something they saw they saw jesus cast out a demon out of a man and the possessed demons went into the pigs and the pigs ran into the lake or ran into the i think it's the lake or the ocean or lake and they drowned right the people that were the the men that were in charge of these pigs that saw this whole thing go down that was a blessing that was a miracle but they went and reported it to the town and the town came and told jesus to leave their region right why listen why would they tell jesus to leave their region if what jesus just did is is a blessing he just cured a man that was possessed from demons and there was witnesses to testify to that why would they tell jesus to leave the town it's purely intimidation it's intimidation because you have to remember something P people don't like to see the truth okay sometimes you know when God sparks a light within you and God starts to use you okay in whatever area you're in because God will use us in any area that we're in it doesn't have to just be ministry but when God starts to use you people know that you're the, the Holy Spirit is operating through you they know it's not just you they're like whoa she went from this to this or he went from that to that there something's going on she's highly favored or he's highly favored and they don't want to admit that they felt intimidated by Jesus they felt intimidated by him and because what he was doing they've never seen before they didn't even see their own leaders doing it they never saw their own the pastors priests the pharisees whoever they never witnessed all that so the fact that they witnessed it through jesus it's like an intimidation because it lets them know hey if my own priest or the pharisee couldn't even do that but a man can do that a man because they never knew jesus is, they never knew who jesus was at the time even if they did they didn't accept it remember they didn't accept it right so them accepting it would mean that they would have to also accept the fact that who they were calling their leader is not really their leader it's like they have to accept it because it's kind of they have their belief elsewhere right so there was a lot of intimidation when jesus was casting out demons a lot of intimidation and that's why they told jesus to leave because there was intimidation there was intimidation there was denial and intimidation so a lot of you guys, when people see that you're doing something and you have witnesses there that can see that you're doing the right thing. They can see you're working hard. They can see your anointing. They can see the glory that God has upon your life. They will want you to leave or they will try to get you to leave. The best thing to do if God did not tell you to leave and he's not instructing you to leave, be the best you can be. Every time someone tries to push you out of your, you know, out of the anointing or try, not even out of anointing. If someone tries to push you out of where God placed you. You got to fight to stay there. You got to keep your head high and keep going back to where God told you to go to and work and work even harder. Do the opposite of what they want you to do. They want you to give up. They want you to not have faith, right? Do the opposite of what they want you to do. So if they try to ridicule you, if they try to get you to give up and get you to walk away, you work even harder, okay? You work even harder. You pray even harder. You fast even harder. You love God even more. Do the opposite of what they want you to do. If they can get you to give up on a position that God has given you, if they can get, get you to give up on, on, on your upcoming promotion, then you've given them what they want. You've given them what, what they want, right? Well, that truck looked mad when I said that. <laughs> I don't even know the person. That is so funny. 
um don't give them what they want okay don't give them what they want you just keep pushing forward and remember that when Jesus did miracles in a town and when he helped people, they told him to leave their town because that it was intimidation. Trust me, it was intimidation. It's not because they thought they thought that he was demonic. They used that as an excuse because we all know demons can't cast out demons. Do you see what I'm saying? And why would the devil work against himself? So obviously, if a man is casting out, if, if obviously if Jesus is casting out demons out of someone is going into pigs that what does that tell you he has the he has the grace of abba upon him right so if you're doing works and wonders in your life and they can't figure out why you have knowledge why you have wisdom they can't figure out why you work so hard why you're about to be promoted and all of that stuff they're going to try to get rid of you because they're afraid that you're going to take what they think is theirs keep pushing now that you know you got to be more confident you got to keep pushing and walk in there with a walk in whatever room with a big smile on your face and just keep going go there to do whatever you're supposed to do and leave if it's work go to work work and leave okay if it's your business work hard at your business and and that's it focus on that you get what i'm saying just keep pushing y'all love you bye